This stir fry uses grated tofu. Grated tofu absorbs the sauce so much better than cubes of tofu because you're cutting it into smaller pieces. Grating tofu is a trick that I picked up from Heidi Swanson of 101 Cookbooks. It gives it a really nice fluffy texture and the whole thing cooks so quickly. Take a block of firm tofu, take a box grater, and introduce the two. By the way, don't worry if some of it kind of crumbles off. That's perfectly fine. Make the tofu smaller, basically. So I'm grating the tofu, as you can see, onto a dish towel, and that's because I wanna drain it a little bit, and then the dish towel will absorb all that extra liquid. The sauce for the stir fry is very classic. It has soy sauce, sesame oil, dry sherry. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice for tang. You could also use rice wine vinegar, but I like the freshness that lime has. Whenever you make a stir fry, you wanna add some kind of aromatic vegetable or combination. I love to use scallions and garlic, and lemongrass is also great because it just adds a citrusy perfume. So I have everything prepped and ready to go, which is essential because as soon as I walk over and turn on the heat, there is no looking back. A lot of stir fry recipes have you brown the tofu and get it very golden. In this recipe, I'm browning the shiitakes and the tofu doesn't need to brown at all. You don't wanna move the mushrooms around too much. You wanna let them get really, really brown. I mean, toss them a little, but also let them hang out. I also have some red chili here. You could use green chili. You just wanna add something spicy to add a little bit of fiery heat. The edamame in this dish adds both texture, you have a little bit of crunch, and it also adds a beautiful green color. When you saute the grated tofu, it almost takes on the texture of ground meat. It's a terrific texture, a terrific flavor, completely vegetarian. However, you could also add pork. I do, I add pork all the time. 